new organization, but yeah. you fought in this building before. You, you know, you, you're, you're familiar with it. Is this uh, familiar stuff for you? Is this something new? Yeah, it's all familiar, man. I've been here before. I've been in this training room before. Uh, it feels like I'm right at home. And obviously, so much of the talk about this has been your decision not to sit on the sidelines and wait and to go ahead and fight. Do you think we're all making too much about that, about your decision? Was it was it ever even a consideration for you? I mean, it's definitely a big chance. I mean, I lose this fight, I'm, I'm out of title contention. But uh, I came to the UFC to fight, and uh, I'm not going to sit around and wait until uh, these guys are done fighting. Do you feel like, you know, the, the run that you had in the WC was tough, I and mean, you fought some really tough guys. With the, Some people are saying, well, he hasn't fought UFC level yet. Do you feel like that's true? Do you feel like there's something to prove here? Do you feel like you've already fought this level? I feel yet? like, uh, I, feel like uh, I, I, I fought the Level, the highest level that I could where I was at. Um, I've only been in WC for a year and a half. I took the title there. Give me some time. I'm gonna fight the best of the best here too. Hey, Clay Guida, he's, he thinks that, you know he's gonna be able to outwork you and outpace you. But you know we saw a pretty high pace for 25 minutes. Do you, what do you think about his pacing, his activity level, and occasion? Do you think it's gonna be higher than yours? I think his pace is his pace. Um, the guys he fights are usually just sitting there and kind of laying back until he he, he reacts. Like, if I want to fight in his fight style and fight that pace, I could. But uh, for me, I like to dictate. The, I like to dictate the fight pace and where the fight goes. So uh, I'm not gonna play this fight game. I'm gonna implement my plan and uh, win the fight that way. You talk about the risk. Uh, you know, you mentioned that uh, if you lose this fight, then you lose your title shot. Is that I mean, something that's kind of that kind of weighs on your head, or is it easy to just push it out when come fight week? Cause you're, you're doing for me, uh, being in the UFC is a long time ago, and. Uh, just going straight to the title shot with like a bonus on top of that, but I'm here to fight, like I said, uh, this is the highest stage, and uh, I can't think about losing the title shot. I just gotta think about winning the next fight. In the same regard, I'm sure you'll say, you'll say something similar, but should you win this fight, uh, you know, how much will that play into your mindset of, you know, if those guys still haven't had a fight yet, uh, you know, Maynard and, and Edgar, if it's still not scheduled, do you have kind of a time limit in your mind? Like, well, if it's if it's not until November, then, then give me another fight. Or yeah. if it's in September, maybe if, you will If I'm healthy and uh, I come out this fight victorious and then I'm healthy, no problems at all, I'll take another fight, man. No problem with it. I mean, I know Dana had the interview and said I might have to take another fight. I have no problem with it. Uh, the one kick that you had is kind of unfairly, you know, jumped above everything, all the other work that you've done in your career. Yeah, I think uh, to the casual fans, it has. Uh, guys that are diehard MMA fans and watch me grow as an MMA fighter, they've seen the growth from my first fight to my last fight. Um, the guys that just seen the kick, yeah, I think they just they see me as one kick winner. Is there a day that goes by that you don't hear about it? No, I hear about it every day. It's, all, it's always there. I mean, it's cool. It's, it's a catch twenty two, like you said. Some people like the kick and they're like, oh, he's a good fighter, and some people are like, oh, he's just the one kick winner. So it's like catch twenty two. Do you feel that? pressure because of that that you have uh, unrealistic expectations to live up to not really everybody asks me that um for me uh the kick is just, uh something that comes with becoming a well-rounded fighter uh, i feel like uh, i can fight anywhere so i can take risk and, and do big moves like that because if a fight goes to the ground i'm fine if it's standing i'm fine for wrestling i'm fine a lot of people are saying on paper this looks like a fight of the year before you two guys even get in the cage. Do you do you see it that way as well? That this looks like it might be something special. I think it has potential. Um, I don't want it to be fight of the year. I want to get in there with a quick knockout, quick submission, get my paycheck, and go home for the next one. But uh, Clay, he's a tough guy, so I want to do the uh, thing that no one has never done: is knock him out.